to temper this center punch I made. It's made from 90, originally 90 millimeters of EN9 steel. That's a British designation. This was originally round stock. I flattened four faces to leave the rounded edges. I then drew it down to a taper and then I ground the point and the striking end. I polished one face so I can see the temper colours. The first job is to heat it to non-magnetic and then quench 30 millimetres thoroughly then hold it vertically and wait for the colours to run up until blue gets to the very tip and then quench it entirely then it should be as hard as it's going to get ok I've heated that to non-magnetic, this is a magnet on a stick now I'm going to quench 30 millimetres of the tip I hope you can see this I'm watching the colours run up, there's the blue there I'm going to wait till that gets to the tip I turn the piece round and heat at this end the same as the top end to give this a reservoir of heat so the heat will run up like the blues to here now I don't know if I've quenched it too much, we'll see doesn't appear to be moving much now right in here isn't very good Whoa, it's there now. I've got to go just before it gets to the tip. Now. I'm not entirely sure I've got that right. Looks very blue there. Not so blue up here. Well, the proof of the pudding, as they say, is in the eating. So I'm going to hit something with it now and find out whether it works or whether the tip goes blunt. deformed a little bit. The trouble is to start again I've got to normalise it now which means reheating it all to non-magnetic and then burying it in the uh, ash in the fire to soften it all and then start again. Okay, I've heated that now. It's all non-magnetic. I'll bury it in the ash in the fire. The reason we bury it in the ash in the fire is if you air cool it, one side will cool more than another if it's on a surface. Particularly on the anvil, that will draw heat out of one side and it'll bend. You'll end up with a banana. No good. Okay, attempt number two, at tempering this centre punch. I've cunningly marked the face of the, that I've polished with chalk. Once it's been heated to non-magnetic, ma mag once it's been heated to non-magnetic, you're supposed to repolish the. You're supposed to repolish the tip with a broken piece of grindstone or something like that. I haven't got any broken grindstones, I'm not about to break one just for this. So I'm going to try using an abrasive wheel, just handheld, it's a brand new one, so it should have pretty, uh, pretty strong abrasive qualities. I'll also cunningly mark 30mm on the end of my anvil, on the edge, so I know what that looks like when I come to quench the tip. Okay. Non-magnetic. Happy with that? Check the lid. Do a quick scrub.
colours are almost there. That's it. That took a, that took a fairly serious bit of quenching. I don't know if I've done it again, you know, because I'm not so sure that's gone all the way to the top. If it doesn't work this time, I'll have to go back to the, my teacher and ask him what he thinks. Center punch marks. And there's the tip of the center punch. I think that survived. I think I may have done it. I'll get it double checked. 